count while I execute the script once again. So let's do it. Uh, the selection is gone, but when I add you know, two additional elements, you will not see two elements, but six of them before my preselection was taken into account. And what is moreover, what's more, even more important, it was filtered also. So this is very you know, simple example, you know, how you can leverage some of the selection nodes and improve any of your scripts. Because like I was saying, 90% of the scripts you will create, they base on selection. Um, okay, let's go back to the presentation. Um, another group of nodes I would like to talk about is a collection of nodes that support automation of rebar detailing in Revit. You can find uh, some dedicated nodes to help you create individual rebars based on dynamo geometry. Uh, then you can manipulate these rebars you created or uh, defining um, rebar sets, so how many rebars and, uh, you have in your model and the spacing between them. You can also create using this package more sophisticated rebar objects such as area reinforcement and pad reinforcement. Um, those, uh, this package also contains some predefined uh, typical rebar designs such as uh, rebars around openings, uh, stirrups, uh, stirrup shapes, etc. And last but not least, uh, you can also control visibility of your rebars uh, from from your scripts. So you can um, you can change the way how they are presented in a viewer, so you can make them you know, solid automatically uh, and unobscured. So this slide shows what kind of stages we have in the process uh, when we developed a script uh, that automates rebar detailing. So we need to define in our script some input parameters, right? Um, then we need to take care about uh, about the, the context of, of our structural model. So we need to define the, um, a selection pattern in our script. We need to retrieve uh, data from, from Revit. And based on, this, uh, based on this data, we can start uh, building geometry of our rebar designs. Ge this is dynamo geometry. Even though they, these re uh, you have this geometry of rebars available in dynamo already, these are still dynamo lines. And the next step is to convert all of these lines into your rebar objects, Revit rebar objects. The last part, uh, it's, it's optional. You can automatically set visibility of your of your designs. This slide shows you a few examples of usage of the package. Um, um, these are typical rebar designs which are generated around openings with, with one click. If you were attending um, the, the keynote yesterday, AAC keynote yesterday, you saw that example in, in, in action on the main stage. Uh, so this is just a simple example how the package can be used to, to, to automate detailing in Revit. And by the way, um, those different designs were created using one script. I was simply playing with, with my input parameters to define if I want to have one layer reinforcement, two layer reinforcements, and what are types of my uh, stirrups at the top. Should they be open or closed? It's, it's everything can be defined from the Dynamo player uh, interface. 